Hey, are you street smart? Do you have common sense? What does it mean to have common sense? Let's have a look now. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Jamie at The Hedge Teacher. This channel is about sharing information to help build your financial intelligence and your awareness around health and money matters. And I'm passionate about educating and inspiring people in these areas. You know, times have changed and there's a new type of money master in the world today. It's you and it's me. And it's a new way of thinking and of being and of understanding. Join me on this adventure now. So what does it mean to have common sense? Common sense is sound practical judgment and acting intelligently in everyday situations with the ability to understand, to perceive and perform for your best interest. That's a definition from Wikipedia. And by learning to think about the situation before you act, you, know, you can train yourself to use common sense before you make any decisions. Common sense is this basic ability to perceive, understand and judge things which is shared by nearly all people and can be reasonably expected of nearly all people without any need for debate. The first type of common sense is good sense, the ability to see things as they are and then being able to do things as they should be done. The second type of common sense is called folk wisdom, the knowing, not reliant on deliberate thought or special training. You know, these two types of common sense work together as a person with common sense emerges from the experiences lived of those commonsensical experiences with enough knowledge to make sound decisions or the basic awareness and ability to judge that most people are expected to share naturally, even if they are unable to explain it. I personally know many very intellectual, intelligent people, but their common sense or their street knowledge is terrible. You know, they think they don't think before they act or speak and you can hear it in the language that they use. If they use a lot of slang, this too will make them come across as unintelligent. On the other hand, I also know many people with a huge amount of common sense and street knowledge who do very well for themselves without being called intellectually intelligent. You know, if you want to develop your common sense, you can start by learning and mastering some practical skills like budgeting your money, repairing things around the home and learning to cook. From this, you will think more practically about new situations and be able to connect more with your environment. When something new arises or new information, you're able to analyze it with an open mind, to ask questions, challenge the rules. And the rules, the bullshit rules is discussed as they do at Mind Valley, rather than accepting things that you're told to. Just because it's always been done that way is not a reason to abandon common sense about the needs of today and the changed circumstances of our environment. Now another time when common sense is lost is when you become angry and you lose all control. The old way of counting to 10 and taking deep breaths can give you time to think about the situation and point of anger. A time to divert your mind and regain control. Now one way I found easier was taught to me by Jim Quick. Think of those magic words we learned when we were children, abracadabra. Take the first word, Abra, A-B-R-A. A is for acknowledge, to acknowledge this feeling and where you are feeling it in your body. You know, what you resist persists. B is for breath. Take that deep breath, think and feel that thought. R is for release. Release that negativity, tell it to go away, think of something nice. A is for align, reset yourself, be calm, be in the present. Learning common sense through practical knowledge and application are things that every human being should know how to do, not leaving it for others to control. These are a part of our personal survival for our long-term health, fitness and safety, especially when you need to react quickly and when times are more difficult or more challenging. 
know how to grow your own food, to cook, learn about nutrition, your health and fitness, our environment and the dangers from wildlife and the weather, knowing how to analyze situations, be, to be able to think for ourselves, to plan ahead, to repair things, to be resourceful. You don't need to be highly educated, but having an open mind and a little curiosity will help immensely. It's all about the process. You decide who you want to listen to and what people you want to influence your way of thinking. To adopt the things that feel right for you, that feel comfortable, and leave behind those things that don't. Practice mental flexibility, affirmative thinking, and challenge those brawls. You know, there's never been a better time for you to do this. This is your time and the time is now. So my question for today is, are you streetwise? Tell me how. Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher, educating, inspiring people in wealth and wellness. You know, like, subscribe, share this with your friends and family. If we don't hedge our own future, no one else will. See you soon.